As Hurricane Ian continues to lash Florida's Gulf Coast, TV viewers found comic relief in one local reporter's live cross amid the destruction. On Wednesday, NBC2 reporter Kyla Gaylor's live cross went viral when Florida viewers questioned whether she had placed a condom over her microphone while covering the storm ahead of its landfall. Watch the video above, Kyla Gaylor explains why she has a condom on her microphone. Watch the latest news on Channel 7 or stream for free on 7 Plus After many questioned her actions, Gaylor later decided to set the record straight. A lot of people are asking what is on my microphone. It is what you think it is, she wrote in an Instagram story. It's a condom. It helps protect the gear. You can't get these mics wet. There's a lot of wind and a lot of rain, so we gotta do what we gotta do and that is put a condom on the microphone. Many Twitter users responded well, with light-hearted comments and jokes. That's how you wrap up a weather segment, for sure, said one Twitter user. If it works, it works, added another dot however, after much commentary online, other journalists, including ABC7 News anchor Jeff Butera, chimed in to support her decision. Yes, it's a condom, Butera tweeted alongside an image of Gaylor's hand holding her mic. Nothing better to waterproof a microphone. My Waterman broadcasting colleague at Kai Lagoler has been fielding lots of questions, haha. Moment of levity in this nasty storm, the beleaguered reporter's efforts came as one of the mightiest storms to hit the United States mainland in recent years, Hurricane Ian, flooded Gulf Coast communities before plowing across the peninsula to the Atlantic seaboard. Hurricane Ian update Local power companies said more than 2.6 million homes and businesses in Florida remained without power. Governor Ron DeSantis said that Lee and Charlotte counties, home to more than 900,000 people, were basically off the grid. Ian blasted ashore at the barrier island of Cayo Costa on Wednesday afternoon as a Category 4 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 241 km per hour. After weakening to a tropical storm, Ian was expected to strengthen and make landfall as a hurricane in South Carolina on Friday. The storm transformed Florida's southwestern shoreline, dotted with sandy beaches, coastal towns and mobile home parks, into a disaster zone as Ian swept seawater into waterfront homes. The impacts of this storm are historic and the damage that was done was historic, DeSantis said during a news briefing. We have never seen a flood event like this. We have never seen storm surge of this magnitude. There were two unconfirmed storm-related fatalities, DeSantis said. With up.